How long does it take? Once it becomes fully active, usually somewhere between three to five days. I don't want to blow smoke up your butt here, but I think you found a new species. You think it's amphibian? Well, water resuscitated it. <gasps> it's all right. Actually, the surface texture changed, so... Previously on, Lone Echo 2. Unknown user detected. Jack. Welcome back to the Astrea. I am hereby available to assist you in obtaining a fuel cell. Any sufficiently small piece of debris would be ideal to experiment on. Viable fuel cell located. I don't think we'll be using that one again. I guess you'll be heading to the research facility then. That is where we'll be able to acquire a contained biomass sample, correct? <laughs> Guys, I think we might have a problem. That is a lot of biomass. Biomass has taken hold here. Given that it got this far, the rest of the facility will likely be much worse. Will the fabricator still be operational? Yes, at least enough that Jack should be able to reboot without issue. Yeah, oh boy. In the security control room, I found a casualty. According to logs, Adler Reyes. He must have been trying to keep the scanners running to prevent the biomass from leaving the facility. But if someone failed the scan... They would have had to remain behind. Unfortunately, even the scanning room itself became contaminated. You think that's how it spread to the rest of the station? Most likely. With background contamination, the system would have had a difficult time producing accurate results. Inevitably, Oh, my God. Yeah, you guys had a tough time. Jack, you are now entering the facility's lobby. Biomass containment is located through the leftmost door. Uh-huh. Yeah, no, that went well. Really well contained here. Um, yep, okay, yep, that's, um, that's not good. Another one of the web forms. I still have no way to bypass. Then try the labs. The research they were doing there might prove useful. Copy that. I'll see what I can find. Okay, I'm here. We have to go there, so if we swing this way... There's some kind of added security here. Dr. Everett Harlin reporting. Authorized laboratory access. Voice oh. activated authorization. That's a smart security feature. Thank you. And you're welcome. I mean, thank you? Uh, what is... Should I pull that? I mean, it's surrounded by biomass. It seems like a good idea to me. Oh. This switch controls power for this hallway. An emergency disconnect. Likely utilized as a means to curtail the outbreak. They really did all they could to try and get the infestation under control. They knew once it was out, they couldn't stop it. All they could do was buy time for everyone else on the station. Damn. This place is crazy infested. It's like terrifying. Okay, a lot of computers in here. Excuse me, coming through. Specimens. What sort of research were they doing here? The director was convinced the cure was impractical. So she poured everything into containment technology. Did she have any luck? When I left, she had everyone working on miniaturizing the insulation clocking from our containment. I'm not sure how far they got. Uh-huh, what are these controls? Is this a control interface? That's right, for the robotic arm in the adjoining chamber. Use the holographic controls to adjust each part of the articulation. Oh, dang. That is really cool. Um, activate? I don't think it's... Is this length of time? I mean, I'm, I'm thinking that this might be able to cut, but it's not actually doing anything. Oh, yeah, look it. It's like blasting the little pustule. And then that goes away. Okay. So, ah, I know what I need to aim it at. How do I turn this? Is there a way to... Ah, there we go. 
Okay, bring this up a bit. Now hit it. Since the researchers here found yes. some success, whatever this device is, I was able to neutralize oh, the biomass. Okay. I have an idea. It. it looks a functional prototype. I knew she. They were close, but I, I didn't know they had moved into practical testing. The basic concept was to surround the biomass with a cloak of electromagnetic insulation, preventing energy from reaching it. Yes. Okay, I got it. Indeed. The idea was to build these cloak emitters as yes. reactive defense against oh. the biomass. Jesus. Oh, that scared the crap out of me. Oh. I wish he could have seen that. Biomass at the exit neutralized. It's possible I failed to foresee some of the clock emitters eventual implications. Sounds like your research director was on the right track. Nora. She never gave up. I could hardly ever pull her away from her work. Dr. Harlan, if I may interject. Damn. The local data I'm seeing implies that the director's efforts to develop cloak emitters proceeded beyond prototyping. Portable versions were installed in some of the X3 medtech shells. Several of these shells appear to have been left behind in the medical wing. Are you saying what I think you're saying? I believe it may be possible to fit Jack with a similar device, a portable cloak emitter. Please? What is involved? I'll need you to retrieve the data from one of the medtech shells here. With that, I should be able to reconstruct the portable cloak emitter's design. Copy that. I'll see what I can find. Uh, okay, I just need to find a med tech something or another. There is medical beds here. These medical beds were used for diagnostic scans. And to monitor potential treatments. Many of my peers focused on post-diagnosis options. Duh. What sort of options? Pain management. Transmission reduction. Though most patients with terminal diagnosis volunteered for cure research. Wait, wait. There are diagnoses that aren't terminal. If the infection is limited to the extremities and has not yet penetrated the epidermis, slice. Amputation has a roughly 40% success rate. Well, that's not bad. The integrated cutter equipped by several models of the X3 shell, including Jack's, can... No. That's enough. Constipation? Scan this bad boy. Hmm. A surprising amount of data. Some of it's irrelevant, but a fair bit could help our efforts on a cure. Thanks, Jack. You're welcome. Of course. Jack, this is the primary examination room, where prototype cures were administered to volunteers. Uh -huh. Dr. Harlan, you'll be pleased to know that your old workplace remains unaffected by the outbreak. Dr. Harlan? That's good to hear, Juno. Thanks. Oh, oh, God, I just want to get a good look at that stuff. It is brutal in there. But unfortunately, I can't get in. Never mind, totally can. I'm in. Oh, I don't want to be in. I'm entering the medical lab. Doctor, perhaps you should step away for a moment. I'm sure there's still plenty of output data to parse before we're ready to initiate the experiment. She's here, isn't she? More than likely, yes. Who? The research director. I can handle it, Juno. Are you certain? Oh. I'm not looking away. You may want to look away, my dude. It is not pretty in here. Oh. Damn. Oh. What the hell was happening? That is so brutal on every single we level. Have another casualty. It appears he was trying to assist right up until the end. Oh, um, hello. This device indeed appears to be a portable cloak emitter. Juno, I believe your conjecture was correct. That's right. If you scan the shell's data port, I believe I can create a similar device for you. Hell yeah! Cloak emitter module identified. Yes! Unfortunately, the data contained oh my in God. the shell is only partial. Of course. Jack, to complete the reconstruction, I'll need you to scan additional units. Understood. I can't get in there. I found another casualty of the biomass. This researcher seems to have been helping the other one. Dr. Adrienne Lay. She was too young for this. 
Oh. Oh God. Oh God. It's an impossible task. That's my body. Excuse me. Alleviating the pain of an infection, especially in the late stages. Yeah. Uh, I. I can imagine. Oh, that is. Oh, it is so brutal. Ah, oh, excuse me. I'm gonna scan you here real quick. I recovered her research. It also seems she received a message from Dr. McKenna with all of his access codes attached. Great. Would you like me to play it? Affirmative. Beginning playback. Hey, Adriana. I, uh... Well, I, I know I can count on you to look out for everyone. So I'm sending you my access codes. You should get you into my stuff and a few engineering areas. My spare rations, my playing cards, whatever else. If any of it helps even a little bit, please, take it, share it. I figure it might make things a little more comfortable for you all. I... Trem, prepare for departure. Shit, I gotta go. Um, I, I have no idea how to end this. I... Just, just hang up, man. Just hang up. Good luck. Yeah, nailed it. Really oh. good. Really good ending there. Um, goodbye. End of message. Yeah, if not great. Doctor McKenna's codes prove useful. I'll add them to your arm computer. Can we? Thank can you. we use it right here? A keypad for the duct. Juno, could one of Doctor McKenna's codes work here? I believe so. Yes. Yes. Try two five two five. Hell yeah, oh, man. Ah, why do I keep putting myself in this situation? Hi, biomass. How we doing today? Um, not going that way. We're gonna just, excuse me, steam. Moving through the vents now. Tell me something, Doctor. How long does it take? What? For the infection to run its course. Once it becomes fully active, usually somewhere between three to five days. But most victims opt to expedite their end. Oh. This is so depressing, guys. Um, oh, 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 okay, he might have some so data on him. How does the infection work? Once it becomes active, I mean... The biomass drains energy directly from your cells. Your body is in the throes of widespread cellular decay. Major organ failure follows 12 to 18 hours later. Dear but God! by then, you're not in as much pain, since the infection has likely started feeding on the electrical signals. Traveling through your nervous system. Ugh. By day four, you right. Okay, I, yep, that's I, enough. I'm gonna scan. Excellent. That shell contained more data regarding the portable emitters. Good. We'll need a good bit more to reconstruct. Uh, a good them. bit more? Oh, you're a big ball, huh? You're just one big giant throbbing ball. I don't like this. Is there anyone else in here that I can scan? I would like to not be visible anymore. And I assume that's what a cloak emitter does. It makes me invisible. Let's see, we have a hatch there, and a hatch here, although this one... Oh yeah, yeah, no, I need this, I need this. Uh, where is your thank you? Scan complete. We still need more data. Yeah, of course. Interesting. Doctor, this shell has a log conversation regarding the director and your research. Go ahead, Juno. Beginning playback. All right, Unit 5, back to the lab. The director wants to run those simulations again. Query, for what purpose? I'm not sure. Dr. Harlan's ideas were intriguing, to say the least, but... Uh, well, I suppose the director knows best. Go ahead and prep the simulations. I'll join you shortly. Acknowledge, Dr. McKenna. Huh. So the director eventually explored your theories after all? I... didn't expect she would continue it after I left. But without the biomass's base genetic material, it would have been as much of a dead end as containment. I just... couldn't convince her. Cloak emitter. I found another arm equipped with a cloak emitter. A oh, backup yeah. safety measure. More than likely. But that's the problem. The biomass can't be contained. No matter how many redundancies you put in place. Right there. Okay, we're gonna activate. 
Persistence, good, so it shouldn't go down no matter what. I think we're okay. I uh, just need to scan you, excuse me, one moment. Uh, this guy. Ugh, yeah. A further casualty of the biomass. My reconstruction of the personal cloak emitter is nearly complete. Okay. One more scan should be sufficient. I got it. And boom. Data collection complete. Finalizing tool reconstruction. Reconstruction complete. Please visit a fabricator to install your new cloak emitter. Okay. I just want to take all that in because, oh my god, it's just... He's like trying to save her and keep the door open, but... They all died. Ooh, ooh, it just gives me the heebie-jeebies. It really does. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna get a new body, which I think I desperately need. I need a shower so bad. I'm so clean and beautiful. Welcome installation successful. This portable version is practically identical to the mounted prototypes you've been using thus far. Oh, and then it gives me a time limit. Interesting. Or is that distance? Can I only do one at a time? What is the... Excellent. A tool like this will make it much easier to get around. Just huh. keep in mind that its effective range had to be reduced to achieve portability. Okay. If you move too far away from your target, the tool will deactivate. Ah, great. Noted. I think this one might be okay. In this patient chamber, I found another casualty. Based on the logs, Dr. Chandra Miles. She was one of the few who subscribed to my theories on the cure. I always appreciate that insight. Well, now I should have access to pretty much anywhere on the ship, so that's good. Oh, we got another log here. Let's make sure we scan that. Oh, I have to use two hands like a fancy person. Okay, thank you. This data includes a message from the research director addressed to you, Dr. Harlan. Play it, Juno. Perhaps I could store it for a later time. Oh no, is that her? Of course, Doctor. Beginning playback. Ever? <coughs> oh no. I don't know if, if you'll ever find this. But I wanted to get it out before. Well, before things get any worse. If you do manage to find this. Well, then you know what's happening. I suppose the good news is, we caught the amount of that Which, if I'm not mistaken, means... You owe me dinner. <laughs> Aww. They had a crush on each other. Never listen to me. I know you. I know you're going to try to put all this on yourself somehow. Make yourself believe there was something you'd have done had you been here, but it's not true. You understand? Don't go trying to carry that. We all knew developing the cure was gradually impossible. No one here was waiting to be saved. <laughs> You're leaving. You're already doing everything you could do. Try and stop this. I miss you, Everett. Be safe. I love you. Oh. Goodbye. That's so sad, Harlan. Are you okay, man? I'm so sorry, Harlan. I too am sorry. It's clear you meant a great deal to one another. She was a good person. She deserved a better resting place than this. There's another voice-activated control panel here. Additional security for the biomass containment area. It requires the voice authorization of a high-ranking official. Well, we've got Dr. Harlan, right? Let's get that door open. Y yeah. My authorization won't be enough. Wait, what? We'll need someone with higher clearance. Ah, uh, then who? Research director. After a lockdown, she'd be the only one able to enter containment. With a large enough sample of the director's vocal modulations, I should be able to synthesize her I just voice. gave you that sweet We've thing. Got a log of her final moments. Yeah. That's not enough? Unfortunately, no. Oh my and god, Juno. Accurately synthesizing her voice could lock us out permanently. We need more vocal data. Great. So, we're 
Starkman. Pull up my personal archive journal. There's just one file there. You sure, Dr. Harlan? Oh. Go on. Beginning playback. Okay, never mind. He's got it himself. I just... You know I wouldn't leave unless I had... It's okay. A kill would change everything. You're not wrong about that. I just wish... I know, Nora. Me too. I won't be long. That should be enough for me to synthesize the... Okay. Do you know? Hey, I missed you. This is Dr. Nora Brake. Authorized containment access. I mean, that was all right. Yes, doctor. Never do that again. Oh. Damn. Some heart. Uh oh. Oh, right. Airlock. We're okay. We're good. Just don't like it when lights randomly turn off on me, but we're fine. This hasn't been too bad, and I have so many tools now. I'm a regular MacGyver up in here. Three seconds, MacGyver! The door is locked. MacGyver! I'm entering what appears to be an excavation site. You are correct. It's the only remaining route to the biomass containment area. We should be able to find our sample there. Acknowledged. Is this containment area where the outbreak started? Most likely. I'll continue parsing logs to see if I can determine what happened. I'm sure that's not necessary. Do it. I need to know. Of course, Damn. Doctor. Is this thing just... What was that? Did you see a shadow? Uh, yep, I see a shadow. That means we have ticks. Is there really just a tick? Excuse me, Rock. Yeah, look at it. Oh, just zigging and zagging right in front of the light. That's great. That's really good. What is this excavator? It is huge. Were these excavators being used to expand the containment area? I can't be certain, but given the advancements made in insulation cloaking technology, I imagine they would have been trying to ramp up testing or possibly even production. Undoubtedly, that would have required taking in more samples than the facility was currently equipped to contain. Cloaking successful. All this advanced tech, and the biomass still broke containment. Yes. This is why. Eliminating the biomass is our only option. Um, I'll, I'll be back. There was a charging station for the drone right here, but it doesn't appear to be on. Oh man, gotta say, very handy that I can freeze those. Oh yeah, very handy indeed. Dude, no, no, get out of here. No, I said handy. Huh. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you just float away. Don't come near me. Okay, good. Good, good, good. What's my shield at? We're fine. Ah, damn it. I need to bring the drone here. Okay, I'm approaching right back. a large opening. There was a conveyance system installed overhead. That is how newly arriving containment units were transferred into main storage. Local telemetry indicates a significant biomass presence throughout the area. Containment certainly failed here. Acknowledged. I will proceed with caution. And I got you. Zap. Oh, we are flying. We are... Oh, God. No, oh, turn, turn, turn. All right. You go right in there. And then I should be able to scan it and maybe get some sort of information out of you. There is a wealth of data here. Much of it will be useful for our work on developing a cure. Yes. Fine. Thank you. This container must have lost power at some point. Unfortunately, it appears its contents have escaped. How certain are we that a functional container is still here? Based on the logs, one stock container arrived shortly before the lockdown. Hopefully, it remains intact. Should I should I go in there while it's dealing with that? I guess I could stun it again. Oh, did you already kill my drone? Uh, is there anything I can scan with an this? There's a shell encased in biomass. Shall I scan its data port? It is likely to possess details about the outbreak. Then do it. What? What? No! No! I put a shield on you. Hold on. Shield? Shield? Okay. Don't. What are you doing? Stop it. You stop it right now. 
Oh yeah, because I, I turned off I the thing. The synthetic using this shell was indeed present for the initial containment failure. I'll play the log. Director Park. Yes, unit. The category four containment breach is in progress. What? Hard to answer. Multiple ticks are understated in the command shaft. I am beginning to lock down. Have any personnel had direct contact? Several. I sacrificed my shell to prevent immediate fatality. I'm in the process of reprinting with a portable plug emitter. All right, I'll triage the infected in the med labs. Your sick telemetry indicates you are not wearing a helmet. To avoid dying... I'll find one. Just prioritize personal evacuation, then lock down the entire containment area. Especially main storage. Acknowledged, Doctor. Nora, why did you... She did her best. She tried to... No, she did help everyone. I'm sure that without her... It doesn't matter. Without a cure, none of it matters. Well then, we know what we have to do. Agreed. I cloaked one of the sensors on this web, but it's not having the same effect as before. One of? How many sensors does this web have? At four. least four. Then this web must have been cultivated here for some time. Oh boy. It's possible this is where the outbreak originated. Unfortunately, Jack, your cloak emitter cannot sustain enough insulation fields to blind all of those sensors. Yeah, I know. There must be something else we can do. Agreed. I'll find a way to retract the web. Something there with is this? an electrical transformer here. Its power field appears to be keeping all nearby biomass active. Any chance there's a bypass for the doctor? Effectively? No. That oh. system has been consumed by the biomass. Lovely. If I could get that fabricator online, maybe I could... Ah, oh, there's like a crane arm over there. I just have to get somehow... There's got to be like vent access. What's this? Is this anything? Is there a port on this that I can scan? Can I maybe use the cloak emitter on this thing? Test successful. Oh. The cloak emitter can insulate power transformers. Oh. She really did think of everything. Damn. Proceeding through the web now. Is this the cargo bay? Yes, and our containment unit is indeed intact. I'm still prepping the intake system. Should be ready by the time the container gets here, though. I'm assuming we have what we need. Readings show a full complement of ticks within. So, yes, Captain, we have what we need. Yeah, we're good. We're good. We actually did it. Is the unit safe to approach? I'm already yes. here. Yes, the container is fully powered and the insulation fields are active. Those ticks are pacified. Great. I'll send a cargo drone to retrieve it as soon as the bay door is open. On it. How do I open that? Does this crane need the size requirements for the cloak emitter? Unlikely. However, I suspect it is more useful without insulation anyway. Oh, I have an idea. Okay, we're gonna use the... Ooh, spinny spinny. We're gonna use this over here, which will attract the ticks. And then we're gonna, you know, cloak that transmitter so they actually come to the crane. And then we're going to move the ticks away from this door. And then the transformer will... I'm not. Let's do this. Okay, great. Then let's get them the hell away from the door. Right there should be fine. And then we have ourselves a blocked door. But if we turn that off, we can get in. Oh man, it looks terrifying down there. Like that is a horror movie scenario. And who was flickering the lights? Nosferatu! Ah, uh, do I have to go that way or can I just... I'm gonna check out here real quick. Don't mind me. Okay, good. And we're through. Ah, I could really use a new shell, but no, that's fine. I'm not greedy. Bay door? Exterior bay door open. Copy that. We'll send over a cargo drone to retrieve the container. Yes. Shouldn't take too long. Jack, Good job, everybody. I just need you to manually release the container once the drone has secured it. Acknowledged. I'll head to the cargo bay. Uh, is something, something weird going to happen here? Uh, From this side, the web sensor shit. is inaccessible. I won't Shit. be leaving that way. Yes, that is unfortunate. Uh, However, schematics do show a maintenance duct nearby. Yeah, I'll no, I see it. Find. It looks really nice up here. That means I have to go to the 
evil flashing lights down that hallway because, I mean, that's my dream. Oh, hey, buddy. How you, how you doing? Anything I can scan on you? Nah, you seem, you seem fine. Um, we can talk later. God, there. Oh no. Oh no. Maybe I can cloak it. Yes. Oh, this thing is so handy. This is gonna save my butt from everything. Excuse me, excuse me. Yes. And open. Oh, well, that guy I can scan. Give me your data. There's a fair bit of data here. It should prove useful in our efforts to develop a cure. Good find, Jack. Thank you. Thank you this so much. This is the administration area. Once past the next hallway, Jack, you'll be back in the cargo bay. Uh, I'm guessing I need to get in there. Yeah, I'm guessing I need a battery. Yep, okay. Here we go, the charger is through here. Excuse me, excuse me, coming through. Get this bad boy all charged up. We have our battery. And then we're gonna put that in the console, which will, of course, power everything up. Oh my this god! Must be sensing the battery's oh. power field. Holy shit! Any substantial power field will awaken all forms of biomass from dormancy. Oh, wow, that absolutely terrified me. Really didn't expect that to happen yet. Okay, okay, that's good to know. Oh, you really spooked me. Gotcha. Oh, I am very, very low on health. Um, okay, so you are full. I can't just lob you through. I'm just going to keep you right there. Okay, and then I'm going to figure out how to do this. Is it one of you? No, I don't think so. Actually, I have an idea. What if I do do, do, do this on the battery? Eh? Oh, gosh. I am so nice smart. Thank you. Are yeah, I think I am. It's very useful. Put this away. Perfect. It, the device has brought us that much closer to a cure. For that alone, we should be grateful. All right. Oh, so much In this death. corridor, we have another casualty. Two, in fact. Yeah. Dr. Stephen Garrick and senior technician Avery Park. Seems they were left behind in the evacuation. I doubt that. If they're here, it's probably because they chose to stay. Oh. I knew these people. Every research I hear understood what an outbreak would mean. That they would have to do whatever was necessary to try and protect the rest of the station. Jack, the cargo drone will be unable to retrieve the container until it's released from the loading pallet. There should okay. be a release mechanism near the container. Yep, I see it. There we go. And release. Container released. Confirmed. Container primed for departure. It will need to be hooked up once it gets here, Jack. You had to give it the final touch. I did it before, Liv. I am I on it. I would. Yes. I doubt the procedure will take long. Okay, then. See you in a few. Container departing in T minus 10 seconds. Igniting thrusters. Blast off. Bye, Tex. Goodbye, terrible, horrible biomass area. Oh, just the worst. Damn. And then you come out here and it's just gorgeous. Absolutely stunning. Jack? Yeah? I hope you don't mind. What's up? I switched us to another comms channel for a moment. I have Why? I have a somewhat personal question to ask you. Do okay. You um, no, sure. Shoot. Go ahead, you know. Captain Rhodes, she considers you a friend, yes? Yes, she does. We're like best friends. Yes, that is correct. How do you know? Um, duh. In the time I have known Captain Rhodes, she has consistently demonstrated behaviors that suggest she values my company, trusts my insights, and harbors a great concern for my overall well-being. I see. Why do you ask? I'm trying to discern if Dr. Harlan considers me a friend. Aww. The metrics indicate he is still experiencing some distress, but I'm unsure if it would be appropriate for me to console him. What is your assessment? That is so sweet, Juno. Yeah, no, you seem... Well, actually, he seems like a dick, but... I would... You'd be my friend. Based on my observations, I believe Dr. Harlan considers you a friend. He will appreciate your efforts, even if he does not outwardly display it. Yeah. Thank you, Jack. I agree with your assessment. I will Aww. do what I can to help the doctor feel better. Good, I hope you do. Wait, did we just become friends? Did we just become best friends? Yep! 
I suppose we did. Splendid. I'll return calls to the public channel now. Aw, I like making friends. Hey there, Jack. Good to see you're still in one piece. Same deal as before. Hook up controls near the cargo clamps. All right, sounds good. I'm gonna do. Oh no, I let go. Oh no, I thought I could, maybe I can beat it. I can beat it down. I'm gonna race you. See you later, cargo drone. Yeah, go, go, go. I'm coming, Liv. <laughs> Stupid solo cargo drone. All right, I got this. I am ready. Just need it to land any day now. Liv, you're not out here. I was kind of hoping to see you. And popcorn. I miss popcorn. Okay. Got it. Biomass container secured in place. Copy that. System check, Juno. How did we do? Systems nominal. Both the fuel cell and biomass container are secure and fully engaged with the ship's intake systems. Well, Jack, looks like things are wrapped up here. Okay. No need for you to rush back, though. I'm not exactly eager to send you hurtling through time again. Oh, of yeah. Course. Also, Dr. Harlan could always use more data for his research if you oh. want to continue exploring the station. Copy that, you know. Are you telling me to explore? Uh, return to the ship? Uh, the infested... Oh, yeah, I can get in that tram car. Okay, we're gonna do that, and I guess we can find more information. Oh, we got a day ahead of us, folks. 